Hello and welcome to episode 56 of my Let's Play Vanilla Minecraft. I don't know why I suddenly wasn't sure what I was playing. I said episode 56, right? Yes, so episode 56, I am the great KHM. Um, yes, so let's get right into it. Dispenser there. 9 plus 5, that'd be 14, so yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. That's probably enough repeaters. Okay. Now, the moment I place this torch, I'm going to make a run for it. Because I will need to know what's going on up here. the first cart. Oops, oh shit. That was my bad. Totally my bad. Crap, 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 crap. I need to clear that cart. Wait, what? What's going on here? What? Okay, so... So they're not actually able to make it up that? Is that what I'm seeing here? That one seemed to be able to. Okay, well they seem to be able to without any issue right now. Alrighty then. So let's see what we can do about this turn thing here. What I'm thinking is that maybe, maybe, maybe a, an unpowered rail, an unpowered powered rail there might do the job of slowing them down enough so that they can survive that turn. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to go ahead and power this up and s see what happens here. Okay, well that one's in its proper spot. And the queue is working. Yep, looks like it. I saw some wobbling back there. I guess not. Everything's all hunky-dory. Perfect. It's right where it needs to be. What about the second one? Will it... I actually get stopped at that point, or will I have to make some adjustments to the queue for it as well? Okay, yes, we are going to need to make some adjustments here. Okay, so I've been sitting around here, or standing here, thinking of, uh, uh, what might be causing the double cart issue that we're experiencing. And, <clears throat> ah, excuse me, I think I know what ca is causing it. Well, I specifically set up this pressure plate here to turn this cart off before the cart, well, really actually gets off the track here. So, this couldn't be the area where it is. But over here, we have this require, well, requires minecarts to travel like two additional cart, or no, just one additional track 
than the one right behind it. So this must be the issue right here. And uh, so that would mean that the solution to the problem here would to just take or would be to just take kind of a repeater thingy there and maybe another one here Oops. I suspect that's probably not nearly enough of a delay and boop there I have to do something with the gate here because clearly that's not going to work. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's probably not nearly enough of a delay. <sighs> hmm. Don't know. How far can a minecart travel in four ticks? Oh, uh, three ticks because, yes. I hear a door being broken open. No? Where was this door being broken in at? It's not this door, clearly. You can say that with certainty. Up here, well, there's no. That's an iron door, and we got this. It's none of these doors. Wow. That's a lot of villagers. But, uh, no zombies amongst them. Otherwise that iron golem would have been freaking the hell out. I don't think I have any wooden doors up here, do I? Well, maybe I do. Let me see. Yes, I do have wooden doors up here, but... No real reason why a zombie would just suddenly break through them. Oh. Okay, well that was apparently the first floor. Okay, and I don't have doors there, I guess, or something. I don't know. I heard a door being smashed open by a zombie. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a door being smashed open by a zombie, but... Where would that have been? Got iron doors on this thing, so it wouldn't have been around the farm. That's actually kind of cool looking. Where, where would that have been? It's not around here, clearly. Doors are still in place. The front door uses iron doors, so that couldn't have been it. Back here, maybe? Do I have an iron, a wooden door? I do have a wooden door here, but... Uh, no zombie. It's clearly not broken open. Huh. I'm pretty sure I wasn't imagining it. I suppose theoretically I could have been imagining it. But it's being recorded so you guys will know if I was imagining it or not. Oh, my volume's... yeah, my volume was turned way the hell down even so. So it must have been even closer than I thought it was. It sounded really far away but then again my volume was turned really, really down. I'm not hearing any zombies, though. There's not even any kind of built up in there. Have any doors up on the roof? Well, yes, I do have a wooden door up on the roof, but uh, it seems to be safely intact here. I guess either A, it was my imagination, or B, I'm going to find a spot where a door used to be at some point, 
and we'll just kind of go from there, I guess. For now, I don't know if this pulse sling inclinator is actually going to really be enough to make a difference here, but we'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Okay. Do we have them all set up and ready to go over here? I believe so, but I'm just going to double check that. Yeah, everything looks good here. So, shall we harvest? Yes. Now, I'm just going to flip the switch. And we're going to run all the way over here. Wowie, just feel that lag. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you get a ton of moving water and a bunch of items suddenly being harvested. Okay. Now, if all goes well, we'll start to see this thing fill up. We'll start to see this thing filling up. Shit. Okay. So apparently they can't pull stuff through half slabs anymore. Well, shit. Oops. Okay, well. Okay. The fuck? So... Perhaps activator rails don't work quite the way I had thought they did. Just push you back up. Alright, you know, I'm gonna look up activator rails real quick. Ah! Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, so they work the exact opposite way I thought they did. Ah, fuck. Okay. So now that uh, we know that these things work the exact opposite way I thought they did, well, hiccups like that are bound to happen here and there, especially with the new system with so many points of failure. And uh, the whole system kind of basically relies on a harmoniously achieved balance that uh, I haven't quite achieved yet. Alright. Boop. Boop. Shit, I fucked that up. Ah, man. I have to go around... 15? Can I not count? Why do I have an extra one here? Anybody? Anybody? 
All right, well, let's, before I stick it in the system, let's go make sure that the queue is actually full and that I didn't, like, mess, miscount. The queue is, in fact, full. So where did number 16 here come from? Oh, well, whatever. Okay, everything looks good there. Okay. Any problems with the carts? No, everything looks like it's where it needs to be, yes. Awesome. Okay. So, now, we shall do this. That go in? Yes, that went in. What? Oh, shit. Okay, so... Hmm. Apparently, the delay on this thing is just not enough. And it fucks them all over. Well, let's see, are they all actually fucked over? No, surprisingly enough, uh... Well, yeah, we got pretty fucked up there. That'll greatly increase that. But, will it increase it enough? I guess is the next question. One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four. Looks like the answer to that is... Sort of. Uh, no, that's not enough. What sort of delay would we have here? Oh, yes, I forgot. We do have a delay here. Okay, yeah, that, that kind of takes that to account there. Hmm. I don't know, it might not be a problem. It might not even be a problem. One, two, three, four. Alright, well, this might actually just kind of take care of things. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and replant the uh, potato field, and then we'll give it another shot. Okay, that's the uh, potatoes planted. And, of course, I realized about halfway through that it should have actually been wheat that I was planting, but whatever. We'll stick with potatoes. Potatoes are simple. They're, they're a simple uh, something. Uh, crop. And it looks like I still need more potatoes anyway, so... Yeah, sure, we'll just go with that. And, uh, now let's go ahead and replace the uh, minecarts on the track. Uh, everything was good here. Alright, now to wait for all the crops to grow in. Alright, so, as you can see, I've let them all grow. This took a while, but, uh, whatever. We need a full-scale test of this. Yes, something like that, anyway. Okay, just double-check, make sure the carts are all in place. They should be. Um, everything should be all hunky-dory and everything. The hunkiest of doriness. Yeah, looks good to me. Uh, oh, bone mill. Check bone mill. Need to check bone mill levels. Because I've been taking that stuff out and putting it back in like mad, and I don't remember how much I have in there. 
And if I don't have enough in there, things are going to go wonky. Okay, yes, that looks good. Good looks that. Alrighty then, so... Yes, okay, the switch is here. This be the switch. Alright, 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 alright. Hopefully I didn't actually bump that cart. Okay, are we going to have problems? Well, that one worked. Okay. Yeah, it's going. Okay, cool. It's a lot slower than I was f afraid it would be. Wait, what? Okay, why isn't it sucking in more? Oh boy. Uh oh, we got a problem here. Okay, yeah, so this this needs to be adjusted still. Alrighty then. You know what this means? You got her. I'm gonna have to redo all this. <laughs> and I need more redstone. So apparently that's just not gonna work. Period. <laughs> Because uh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Unless, unless. Maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a way. That doesn't require so much of this redstone. Because that would be awesome if there was, in fact, a way to do this without so freaking much redstone. Because redstone's good stuff, and I just. <sighs> I go through it like mad as is. So, 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 here's kind of the plot, the plan, and something. Anyway, uh, yes, we need detector rails. Perfection. That ought to do it. Do it that ought to, ought to do it that. So, that does kind of leave the question. Why was this thing, you know, pulsing like that? Not fully, um, something. Don't know. But I strongly feel that this needs to be a bit on the longer side. There we go. So, what will the thing pull items through. Let's go figure that out. Let's get ourselves a nice trap door. Okay. Let's see here. Alright. Okay, that, so that does seem to work. The heck? Does it have a redstone signal there? I guess it must. Now it should pull stuff from here. But it's not for some reason now. Which has me quite worried, actually. <sighs> that one's powered too. 
the heck? All right, all right, all right. Carpet, maybe? Oopsies. Okay. Okay, so carpet. Go there. And looks like... Looks like it can, in fact, uh, do that, so... Uh, do I have any lovers? We do, in fact, have some lovers here. I shall put here. Flip that on. Alright, whatever, I guess. Oh, okay, I see. Yes, because the piston pushed the thing there, so the carpet broke. Which means that is not actually a viable option, even though it would be perfect if, you know, the thing didn't break. Glidsies, okay. So, is there anything that I can put there that won't break with that? And well, according to the wiki, nothing has been changed about them, and Cat, you better leave that alone, otherwise you're going to get the boot. Okay. Yeah, so... According to the wiki, they should be able to pull off of uh, slabs just fine. That they're not able to, apparently. Cat, you're tempting fate. Alright. Yeah, so accor according to the wiki, they can still pull from on top of slabs, which means that I shouldn't need anything there, like the door thing and the other thingy, my boppers, and yeah. Boot. Boot, I do. Because, because, because it's being retarded. <sighs> And I don't have a solution. Eyes got nothing. Nothing has eyes. Nothing has eyes. Oh, okay, it looks like that thing of ice melt again. But you know what? We have a solution for that. A solution that won't melt. something I actually just figured out recently while reading through the wiki looking into slime balls or slime blocks and at what they do one of the things that can be done is you can put them under water and uh, use them to move items around kind of like ice they're not nearly as good as ice but they don't melt and items can move across them which is cool all around. So we'll just go ahead and put this conveniently made, uh, uh... <sighs> much better. Conveniently made, uh, slime block. Here. There we go. It won't melt. And... Other things. Oh. oh, crap. Okay, so that there. Toss that in there. Yeah, see, it, it, that went. What the heck? Okay. Yes, yeah, so that one went. That one also went. That one did not, because it did not land inside the thing. Yeah, remove this. Okay, so sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. Maybe if I put another piston there... Okay, 
what I'm kind of thinking is that we take this piston here. Stay here. Kind of like that, yes. Perfect. Okay, and then we have this. Alright. So now then, take that there. Take some materials for it. Some seeds in this case. Okay, and... Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now then what I can do is I can just have it pour directly onto the track. All right. Right, 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 right. Needs to be there like that, which means I don't even need that anymore. Cool. Okay, that was kind of confusing. I saw a zombie here. Guess not. Uh, I'll go drop off some of this crap, replant the field, and then we'll give it another test run. Alright, so now we have a nice beautiful bounty of wheat that needs to be harvested. And I believe everything is all set up. That is empty. Okay, the carts are all in pos uh, excuse me, position. God damn it, I have the hiccups now. Alright. And go. Whoa, laggy. Whoa, laggy. Okay. What the? What? But... Wait, what? No, 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 hold it, hold it. Oh, right. Okay, sweet. So that all worked. Alright, now let's go up here and see how well it's working up here. Make sure there's no traffic jams or anything. Everything is all nice and neat and orderly. Awesome. I was afraid there might have been a that a jam might have formed there at the uh, piston elevator, but it doesn't look like that one has. Sweet, that was pretty quick. Awesome. <laughs> well, that means this is about halfway, yes. Awesome. Okay, and now I'll stand up here and just wait for them to finish. Let's see, is there a position where I can see? Uh, no, not really. Oh, well, I guess I'll just wait here.
Okay, so that should have drained all of it. Just quickly have a look see in these minecarts. That's completely drained. Completely drained, and they're all lined up perfectly. Sweet! I think we have ourselves a fully functional machine now. Just dump in these seeds. And, uh... Then I guess we'll call it. Okay, so I'm probably going to play around with this a bit off camera, so once again, I'm KHM, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.